Hello traders. Do you know who George Soros is? Soros is an American-Hungarian author, political activist, philanthropist, business magnate, and investor. He is among the most successful investors in the world. He had a $7.6 billion net worth as of 2017 February after donating $17 billion to the Open Society Foundations, his philanthropic agency. George Soros' net worth was $25.2 billion as of March 22, 2017. In this video, we will talk about history topics, and you can like this video if it is interesting for you. How George Soros broke the British pound? Black Wednesday occurred on September 16, 1992, when the British government was forced to withdraw the pound sterling from the European Exchange Rate Mechanism (ERM) after a failed attempt to keep the pound above the lower currency exchange limit mandated by the ERM. At that time, the United Kingdom held the presidency of the European Communities. George Soros became one of the most famous currency traders globally, thanks to his timely and brave bet against the Bank of England in 1992 on what became known as Black Wednesday. With costs of around £3.3 billion, Britain's central bank was unable to defend itself from an attack in the currency markets, and Mr. Soros made an estimated $1 billion in profit as a result. So there are three facts. September 16, 1992, Black Wednesday, the day speculators forced the British government to pull the pound from the European Exchange Rate Mechanism, ERM. Britain joined the ERM in a concentrated effort to stimulate the unification of the European economies, an effort that unfortunately failed. Leading up to the 1990s, the British pound had shattered the German Deutschmark, which had the deleterious effect of spiking inflation in Britain. The underlying problems inherent in the pound's inclusion into the ERM were compounded by significant economic strain resulting from Germany's reunification. This, in turn, put pressure on the Deutschmark as the core currency for the ERM. The drive for European unification also hit bumps along the road during the passage of the Maastricht Treaty, which was meant to bring about the euro. Speculators began scrutinizing the ERM, causing them to wonder how long fixed exchange rates could fight natural market forces. This led to Lawson's resignation as Chancellor, he was replaced by former Treasury Chief Secretary John Major who, with Douglas Hurd, the then Foreign Secretary, convinced the cabinet to sign Britain up to the ERM in October 1990, effectively guaranteeing that the British government would follow an economic and monetary policy preventing the exchange rate between the pound and other member currencies from fluctuating by more than 6%. On October 8, 1990, Thatcher entered the pound into the ERM at DM 2.95 to the pound. Hence, if the exchange rate ever neared the bottom of its permitted range, DM 2.773, the government would be obliged to intervene. In 1989, the UK had inflation three times the rate of Germany, higher interest rates at 15%, and much lower labour productivity than France and Germany, which indicated the UK's different economic state compared to other ERM countries. From the beginning of the 1990s, high German interest rates, set by the Bundesbank to counteract inflationary effects related to excess expenditure on German reunification, caused significant stress across the whole of the ERM. The UK and Italy had additional difficulties with their double deficits. At the same time, the UK was also hurt by the rapid depreciation of the United States dollar, a currency in which many British exports were priced, that summer. Issues of national prestige and the commitment to a doctrine that the fixing of exchange rates within the ERM was a pathway to a single European currency inhibited the adjustment of exchange rates. In the wake of the rejection of the Maastricht Treaty by the Danish electorate in a referendum in the spring of 1992 and an announcement that there would be a referendum in France as well, those ERM currencies that were trading close to the bottom of their ERM bands came under pressure from foreign exchange traders. When Britain joined the ERM, the rate was set to 2.95 Deutsche Marks per pound sterling with a 6% permissible move in either direction. The problem was that the country's inflation rate was high, interest rates were over 13%, and the country's economic boom was far into a period of unsustainable growth, which set the stage for a bust period. Currency traders took note of these underlying problems and began shorting the pound sterling. More specifically, they bought one currency, such as the Deutsche Mark, using the pound sterling. This allowed them to profit as the pound sterling fell in value by comparison to the other currency. Five George Soros was one of these bearish currency traders, amassing a short position of more than $10 billion worth of pound sterling. In the months leading up to Black Wednesday, among many other currency traders, 
George Soros had been building a huge short position in pound sterling that would become immensely profitable if the pound fell below the lower band of the ERM. Soros believed the United Kingdom rate was brought into the exchange rate mechanism was too high, inflation was too high, and British interest rates were hurting their asset prices. The UK's Prime Minister and Cabinet members authorized the spending of billions in pounds sterling as an attempt to contain the short selling by speculators. Moreover, the British government announced that it would raise its interest rates from 10% to 15% to attract currency traders looking for greater yield on their currency holdings. Unfortunately, currency speculators didn't believe the government would make good on these promises and continued shorting the pound sterling. After an emergency meeting among top officials, the country was ultimately forced to withdraw from the ERM to let the market revalue its currency to more appropriate, lower levels. Too. The country was arguably thrown into a recession afterward, with many British citizens referring to the ERM as the eternal recession machine. While the government lost a lot of money, some politicians are glad the ERM disaster occurred since it paved the way for more conservative policies to be credited for reviving the economy ultimately. Now conclusion. The date September 16, 1992, is what we refer to as Black Wednesday. It saw the pound sterling crash and was one of the primary reasons why the UK could not adopt the euro. The event ultimately forced Britain out of the European exchange rate mechanism. The fall of the pound created immense wealth for investors like George Soros. Some estimates say that he made $1 billion on this day. It also caused tremendous turmoil in the political landscape of Britain. The reason being that they were spending taxpayer money in a bid to keep the pound afloat. Black Wednesday was a lesson not only for the UK but also for governments across the globe. It demonstrated how a union could fail if not held together by sound economic principles. The crisis brought forth the disadvantages of a semi-fixed system of currencies, giving constituent countries little freedom in framing their own policies. It also demonstrated the weaknesses in the UK's financial system and how investors like Soros could exploit it to amass huge wealth. Black Wednesday was a lesson for central banks and a demonstration of how things could go out of hand if the financial system were not controlled properly. This is All Traders.